1945, my grandpa started dairying. It's been a family operation. We have about 500 milk cows plus all our young stock. We have about a thousand animals. In the past, the manure came off the cows, went in the lagoon, later on pumped out on the fields. And naturally occurring bacteria will convert that to methane gas. And methane is a greenhouse gas that's 25 times as powerful as carbon dioxide. Methane releases from these lagoons and from these dairies is a big contributor to greenhouse gas. We looked at it as an opportunity to be able to stay in the dairy industry in this area, both from an environmental standpoint and an economic standpoint. We take the natural bacteria that's going to occur anyways in the lagoon and we put it into an engineered system. So this is the digester here. Um, it's a little over a million gallons of manure. We're feeding in a combination of manure and food waste. And we put in about uh, 50,000 gallons per day. Once the material goes into the digester, we heat it up. Um, it flows through the system for the 20 days. The bacteria produce methane gas, which flows to the top and then comes out of the digester, flows through a pipe into the building. We run it through the engine and um, produces electricity. The electricity is uh, sold to the power company out to the grid and any power we need to use, we buy back. We'll make methane, but instead of the methane being released into the air, we collect it, put it through an engine, get energy out of it, and in the process of getting energy, convert it to CO2, which is still a greenhouse gas, but it's a greenhouse gas that's 25 times less powerful. This is what we call the fiber, and it comes out the back end and we separate it from the liquid. So after the manure comes out of the digester, it's uh, piped over to a manure separator. From there, the solids um, go off one side, the liquid goes into the lagoon to be uh, applied to the fields at a later time. It works very well as a bedding for the cows. Capital cost is always an issue with the digester. and you have to pay back that capital, and the only way you pay it back is the revenues. We get revenue from the power, we get revenue from the sale of carbon credits for destroying the methane, we get a benefit from using the, the fiber as a bedding material instead of buying bedding. One of the big, big things that made it possible for us here in Washington and the other digesters that are here in the Washington is bringing the food waste in. Having that extra um, revenue from the tipping fees and also the extra power that it produced to have a higher KW output. In a nutshell, it's economics. It's a win-win for everyone. There's really no reason not to install it with the exception of economics. Every farm, every producer is different. They need to look at their situation. Often people say digesters just aren't economically viable. And I say yes and no. Yes in the sense that's why we haven't built a whole lot of them across the country, but no in that people have been entrepreneurial and found niche ways to make them economical.